While looking for the jar of cookies, Vaishnavi accidentally spilt water on the kitchen platform. She must clean it up before her mom notices. She decides to use a sponge to clean up the water. Wow, the sponge worked its magic. There is no water left on the platform and the sponge looks dry too. But is it really dry? Let's find out. If we squeeze the sponge, water comes out of it. It's like the water was there, but we just couldn't see it. Are there substances in nature that contain water yet are dry? Let's go to our Lido lab and find more about this. Look at these copper sulphate crystals. They look dry, don't they? Let's see if these crystals are really dry or they have any water in it. For this, we will take a few crystals in a test tube and heat them. The color of the crystals changed from blue to white. Also, there are water droplets forming on the mouth of the test tube. This means that there was water present inside these crystals. In fact, it was the water which was giving it a blue color. On heating the crystals, the water evaporates which was seen on the mouth of the test tube. Then why can't we see these water molecules in the crystal? Because they are present as an integral part of the crystal. This is called the water of crystallization. There are certain crystalline substances which have a fixed amount of water molecules present in it as an integral part of their crystalline structure, giving the crystal its specific geometric shape and color. When water is added to the white copper sulphate, its crystals turn blue again. Wow, can you believe how water is invisibly present in these substances? Oh look, Vaishnavi is enjoying her cookies now.